it's Mark Wahlberg. Welcome to Click TV. Welcome to Click TV. Hey guys, we caught up with Insomniac Games' CEO Ted Price to talk about his latest game, the action-packed third-person co-op title Fuse. What is Fuse all about? Fuse follows a team of four agents who are pursuing this volatile alien substance stolen from a, a bunker in the middle of the desert. They're pursuing it across the globe and eventually into space. This weapon has given the US government the opportunity to create some very cool and, and lethal experimental weapons which the agents come across in the first few minutes of the game. And these weapons give each of our characters some very different functionality, which you start to unlock more and more as you move further into the game. So Fuse features the progression tree as well. Is it possible to select a character that you just like the aesthetics of and then make them the character that you want them to be? There is customization in terms of how you spend your skill points in, this, in the trees. and. As you move through the game, you earn experience, you level up, you earn skill points, and you can decide you know, where you want to spend them. Eventually, after several playthroughs, you will unlock everything, and so that kind of customization starts to uh, become less and less apparent as you move further into the game. But early on, I mean, you can build out your characters in, in some pretty effective ways. What are the risks taken when you're releasing a new sequel or a new IP at the end of one console generation when the next one is on the horizon? Well, you mentioned sequels. So one of the benefits of releasing a game at the end of the console life cycle is that we are one of the new kids on the block. We stand out in a sea of sequels. And we hear a lot from players that they want something new. They, want, they don't want to be playing sequels. And there are a ton of PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 owners who won't necessarily be making the jump right away to next-gen consoles. And, there are, and of course, they won't be able to make a jump until those consoles come out. So for right, right now, we give players a very different experience in terms of raising the bar with co-op, giving them a chance to get online with their, plan, their friends or play locally uh, in couch co-op, and have a lot of fun with the world that we've created for Fuse. And what were the challenges in creating a game that is as enjoyable in single player as it may be in the other modes of multiplayer? One of the biggest challenges was making sure that the bots behave the way players want them to. Because if you're, this is a four character game, so at all times you are playing with four characters on screen. So if you're by yourself, you've got three bots who are there to support you. But we don't want them to, we, we make sure they don't get in your way, they don't steal all your kills, and when you're in trouble, they help you out, unless you do something really, really stupid. They also, and this is very important, as you go through the progression tree and start unlocking skills, your bots will use those skills. And that's that's tied to the leap function. So as you're leaping in and out of your out of your characters, the bots will take over for you if you've left out of one and start, for example, using the healing beacon. I could be playing Jacob and go down uh, and need reviving across the battlefield, and my bot, Izzy, will lob a healing beacon across the battlefield to me if I've unlocked that skill. Or Naya, if I've unlocked her invisibility function, will go invisible and work her way through enemies to actually help me out. That's just a couple examples of how bots are smart in the game. And Insomniac isn't really known for creating just one-off games. It tends to be the start of a new franchise. So will this story be self-contained, or will there be a, still a window of opportunity for a new title? I don't know any developer who intends to make just one game. I think we all have an idea, all have a desire to make uh, uh, worlds that live on. And our goal with Fuse was to create a franchise. And a lot of the story elements lend themselves well to taking the world, taking this world in different directions. Fuse in particular, as a, as a substance, is a malleable substance. Our goal was to create this alien, this alien discovery that fuses with other earthly materials to create something very different. And that's the genesis, that's, the, that's what powers each of our very uh, different and exotic Xenotech that you pick up in the game. So for us, it's fun to think about where we can take these worlds, these characters, these weapons down the road, but no concrete plans yet. You heard him, let's wrap it up. Where are we supposed to go? Bomb shelter with an open bar, how the hell should I know? Fuse is coming to Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 from May 28, 2013. See clickonline.com for the full interview and more.